Hey there guys, Alan AMG Tales here and I'm with you in Heathrow Terminal 5. The time is quarter past six. I landed here at three-ish and I asked on Instagram if you guys could ask me some questions so I can answer them. Do a bit of filler as walking around this terminal and vlogging it would not be very interesting. So I'm just gonna go from the top, work my way down, answer your questions. Number one, from Paul Dalton Details. Hi mate, are you planning any more road trips? These videos have been spot on. Oh, epic, yeah. Uh, any more road trips? Yes and no. I'm not gonna do anything like that uh, road trip to SEMA. Uh, this year I have a trip down to Fieldtopia Christmas party. We're doing a couple of things there and I might uh, vlog that. And then I've got plans early in the year to do Autosport and then I want to start doing collaborations with other detailers and or the distributors so they might end up being road trip style vlogs and um, but i hope to take this style of vlogging to the show season next year as well so you get to see the whole journey and then the show season from how uh, it is with us kind of like what we did last year but i'm just hoping that this period of two weeks has given me a lot of training in vlogging file management and then get an engagement from you guys what you think is interesting on these vlogs what's next luke woodham what was your favorite part of jim carter grid <laughs> watching you win mate uh, Red for me has always been a great event to like solidify and network with the people that you kind of meet on Facebook and you meet in the same sort of like Fieldtopia community. But for me, Grid, it's insane. It really is. Like all the all the athletes, all the cars from all spectrums all around the world meet in one point, one place for in theory what is a fairly simple motorsport, but it is taken so seriously. It's a timed event. Don't hit an obstacle. Go a certain route. It sounds simple, but wow, it is nuts. Uh, so I just really, really enjoyed that event and uh, hanging out with the whole. Uh, sorry, battery died. Uh, joys of traveling and being half asleep. So who's next? UK Supreme Detail. What was the one highlight of your road trip in America? One highlight. You guys haven't seen all the vlogs yet, but I have been to a lot of places. Um, biggest highlight. Biggest highlight. Biggest highlight. Biggest highlight. The, it is the driving. I've seen a lot of incredible places, um, but actually the driving, like the little community you become, I think the best drive is actually when me, Andy, uh, Jake, and Kate took a drive out to uh, the Grand Canyon. The sunrise didn't actually end up being any good, but that drive that night, we managed to catch a sunset randomly, then went out for steak. It's a pretty cool moment on the road trip element of America. Uh, who's next? Shaney 200T. Are you going to do sample sizes or sample boxes for your product range? They're coming this Christmas. This Christmas we're launching the 100ml range guys um, so that we can be there with just like the sample companies that you're seeing online. So we're going to provide AM details in 100ml sizes. It's just to bridge that gap when you guys are messaging us asking for samples. We can't be giving them out for free anymore. We tracked it all last year and you would not believe the amount of money we gave away so we can't have it anymore. Andy, FFP, what's going on buddy? Why are you in giraffes when Waggis is 100 yards away? <laughs> uh, okay, two reasons. The first one is I know in giraffes you can get power and they pretty much let you sit at the table and work all day long whilst you're drinking lemonade so I went in there and got my vlogs finished. The second one is I have to watch now with Crohn's what I'm eating. I know Chinese food can trigger it so I haven't actually done uh, Japanese or sushi or stuff just for the one fear and after that road trip I need to be in prime form so I'm not going to try it anytime soon so maybe one day I'll try Wagamama's but not on a danger trip in an airport. Uh, how do you find the US detailing scene compared to here in the UK? From Maddox 710. Uh, I'm not sure, I never really checked out the detailing scene. I might need to do that. I've got a lot of detailing American friends. Uh, caught up with a few of them at SEMA, but we didn't really work together, didn't really do anything. If you're meaning what were the stands like and the and the cars on show sweet but you just gotta remember you know some of the manufacturers some of the suppliers are not about swirl free car they're about demonstrating what they can do for a car and um, i talked about this when i was at scottish car show someone asked me the swirls bother me and stuff but they don't um so how to answer that i don't really know the networking community were very accepting when i was at sema that's the americans and the whole world remember sema's a global event guys um 
very accepted, chat to a lot of people, networked, got a lot of cards. I got what I wanted to do done at SEMA a little bit more in a day and a half, but you really do need to smash all four days if you want to see SEMA, uh, if you've not gone out there with intentions already. Uh, Andrew J. Robertson, AM Details, do you see the USA's positive growth area for AM Details product range? Um, yes, I would love to get into America. Is it my core focus? No, America is a big country to crack. Do I uh, license AM Details and let someone just represent a BAM Details in America? Do I franchise? Do I get a distributor? Or an amazing thing would be having some a company like AutoGeek.net take us on them. We've just got one point of call to them and then they can supply to the trade and to the end user, um, which would be fantastic. We've already got a few detailers in the USA that use our stuff, so thank you very much, guys. Um, but the shipping can be a real pain. But it's just because where we are in the UK and just for the fact that I can't get the big enough discount deals yet with uh, the contracts I've got. So soon, as the company grows, we will crack the world, I promise. Uh, last one I've got here, what is the best bit of SEMA from DJFS? Of SEMA? I did my AM detail stuff, which was cool. Uh, I've seen the Hoonicorn, which is excellent. But actually, really cool was getting to see Ryan Turk's uh, GT. 4586. Yeah, seeing that, then meeting Ryan Turk, I seen him at uh, Driftland when he was there for that. I love following him on uh, YouTube, uh, following his feed. Um, I like a lot of what he's about and what he does. And that project's just been insane. As I say, I literally went to SEMA to do my core things, and then only in the last day I had a cheeky hour to go and find Ryan Turk's cars, really. Um, and then I shot off, but you won't have seen them yet. But you will by the time you see this Q&A, so um, if I was out there a bit longer, I'd maybe have done more and then been able to tell you about seeing it. Just, you wouldn't believe it, it's so big. The dedicated hall of car cares in it, it took me one day just to walk around it. And in between I was finding other elements and I'm watching other people's feeds and they're finding so much cooler stuff. I'd like to have spent time to picture it every car, you know, chat to every person. But it's just not feasibly possible, I don't think, unless you do the four days. But like I said in the vlog, I think SEMA is the thing you have to repeat, repeat, repeat. I intended in going out this year to touch base and then maybe take AM details out. There's no way I can take AM details out to see me yet. I don't think we're that level. I don't have the finances to do the commitment for four or five years at SEMA, so. I don't think that's gonna happen with AMD. I might still go out and network and do them connections to try and get AM details into other countries, but um, I think that'll be it. I'll do a quick refresh because it looked like that was the last one. The Wi-Fi in here is amazing. That's the last one, DJFS, eight comments, all done. Thank you very much guys for firing me them. If there are some more, I will answer them uh, when I'm back in the shop on Saturday. Please do click down here for the subscribe button. Let me know on the vlogs what you thought of the vlogs. Just find the video you like and comment it. Please do share all these videos with your friends, guys. And just let me know in this one down below more questions for other vlogs and what you guys think of the channel. What would you like to see? How to's are coming, I promise. We're gonna film them uh, later on in the year around about the open day. Okay guys, that's it. See you later. Ciao.